Do you love petunias? Well, this episode is for you. Hello gardening friends, I'm Caitlin Miller and I'm from Miller Flowers here in Greenville, Ohio. We are a greenhouse and garden center. So I am shooting this video on a Sunday afternoon and I am going to be talking about all about petunias. One of our most frequently asked questions out here at Miller Flowers is the differences between petunias. So what's the difference between a cascading petunia and a wave petunia? So a cascading petunia in that group is the Surfinia, the color rush, and the Supertunias. It's a great question because I've wondered the same myself. So let's kick it off with the Supertunia series. Supertunia series is a brand by Proven Winners. Supertunias is a great variety of petunias for hanging baskets, the same as Surfinia petunias. They're both cascading petunias and work well in hanging baskets. A supertunia, many know the bubblegum petunia. The bubblegum petunia is a supertunia. It is a vigorous, pink, gorgeous plant, as you can see right here in a hanging basket. There's actually three plants in this, and by the end of the summer, the entire basket will be covered in blooms. It gets huge, a huge bowl of color. Bubblegums is one of my favorite petunias, just how vigorous and how huge it grows. And this photo here is the picture of our soup bubblegum supertunia basket hanging beside our door. So my mom actually planted a huge moss basket full of petunias. And what was amazing about this photo is that it looked like this all the way up until our first frost of, at fall time. So it was extraordinary. Hummingbirds loved it. It grew huge. What she did was she fertilized and watered every single day. Well, she watered every single day, but she fertilized every two weeks. Not only is Supertunia's bubblegum great for hanging baskets like we just saw, but it's also great in the landscape like this photo right here. So this photo of the bubblegums in the landscape always gets a ton of compliments. Every year we get customers that come in and say, I want what's planted down at the end of your road. And so that is bubblegum petunias. There's nothing like that petunia. It's huge, it's beautiful, and vigorous, and gorgeous. We highly recommend it for the landscape and in containers. So one fun fact about supertunias is they're self-cleaning. They take care of their own dead blooms by dropping them. So you really don't have to stand there and pluck the dead blooms. Maybe you want to, to just to keep things clean, but you really don't have to, which is really great for a busy person. Now in the Color Rush series, this is Color Rush Pink, Color Rush Purple, and I have another Color Rush Pink here, and we have a white. So that is pretty similar, again, to the Bubblegum series, or to the Vista Bubblegum um, Supertunia series, but this is Color Rush, a different brand. Um, pretty similar in habit and size. It is also a gorgeous plant and self-cleaning as well. Supertunia and Supertunias are pretty much similar in their personalities of cascading, trailing, and self-cleaning, but they're a little bit different in their habit. So the difference between wave petunias from the Surfinia and the Supertunia, the wave petunia is a ground cover petunia. So that is more, we would recommend more for the landscape. In the wave petunias especially, they are basically like a ground cover. They trail, cascade close to the ground, and they give you plenty of color all season long. Petunias are also self-cleaning, so you do not have to stand there and pluck their blooms as well, which makes it great for the landscape and out of reach places. Not only is there wave petunias, but there's also tidal wave petunias. So tidal wave petunias are going to get taller. Um, we actually had these planted one year. I do not have a picture of it because it's been years ago, but we had a garden or a flower bed at the end of our mailbox, and it would, got so large that it was going off into the road. And so we had to trim it back to keep from going into the road. So tidal waves are gorgeous plants. They get huge and they mound. Petunia that we get asked a lot is what's the difference between the supertunia, the surfinia, the wave petunia, and then the regular petunia. So adding on to that, another petunia, the regular petunias. So the regular petunias are otherwise known as seed petunias are grown by seed. So these are right here are um, seed petunias. And what they do, they do is they grow more upright. So if you have a plant like this, it's not going to be like your wave or your supertunias or your surfinia petunias where they trail. 
These right here are going to be more compact, full upright, and they are not quite as self-cleaning as the rest of the Petunia series. So these Petunias you do have to pluck back and keep them somewhat pinched back to maintain their shape. So there's a little bit more maintenance involved with this type of Petunia. One thing I love about cascading petunias is their gorgeous color all summer long and how vigorous and huge they get with a little care. Thinking, well, Caitlin, you just said they're low maintenance and now you're saying a little care? Well, yes, everything needs a little care, including our lawns. We mow our lawn. We even fertilize our lawns to keep them looking green. We even water our lawns. For those of you who live in town, I don't know if we really actually fertilize or water our lawn a whole lot, but um, for those of you that do, you do put in care to your lawn. So likewise, you do that with your plants. And so that little care, I would highly recommend fertilizing your petunias every two weeks. Here at Miller Flowers, we recommend a brand called Jack's Fertilizer. So Jack's Fertilizer is what we use out here at Miller Flowers, and this is their Blossom Booster. So Blossom Booster is the perfect fertilizer for all those blooming flowers, including your petunias and your calabrachea. So one of the reasons why we recommend fertilizing your plants every two weeks is you're gonna notice the success of fertilizing. So one summer, we recommended fertilizing every two weeks to a customer and she took us quite literally. She came in the following spring with photos of her baskets from that previous year and said, wow, you were right. There is something to fertilizing every two weeks. Just do it. You'll see the success of fertilizing every two weeks and how huge your plants will get. Not only fertilizing, but also trimming and maintaining your plants as well. So what does that mean? So what that means is your plants, your petunias or any other plants will start looking a bit straggly come August, July, August when it gets really hot. And so what we recommend is grabbing a pair of scissors. So have you ever thought of yourself as a hairstylist or a barber? Well, today you are. So grab a pair of scissors, grab your straggly petunias and start to cut. So we recommend where the leaves in the stem meet is give it a nice trim and a nice little haircut or what we like to call it out here at Miller Flowers, whacking it back. So you want to whack your petunias back, give it a nice little trim, and then fertilize it. And within two weeks, that plant will start bushing and start blooming and start growing again, even more beautiful than before. So with your hanging baskets, you don't have to whack them back or trim them back quite as hard as I just did with that plant right there. But you can give it a nice little trim and those plants will get nice, big and full once again. Another tip on taking care of your petunias all summer long, making them look nice and full, not only fertilizing and maintaining them by trimming them, but watering them. So petunias love water. They love to drink water. And like us all, we need to be drinking our water every single day, which sometimes I forget. It's very hard for me to do. Even though I give plants water, I need to give myself water, but hey, that doesn't always happen. But for the plants, we're going to be watering them every single day. So yes, um, during the rain, maybe you can hold off a little bit or feel your basket. And if it's wet when you go to water, let them go. But if it is dry, you need to soak them thoroughly. So by thoroughly means watering them into the water comes out of the bottom of the basket. So you wanna make sure that it starts, as you water, the water comes out of the bottom of the basket, out of that drainage hole. That means that you are watering your baskets thoroughly. Sometimes with your petunia baskets, you'll, when you water them in the morning, you'll notice they're kind of dry when you get home from work. I would give them a good soaking once again to keep them looking nice and beautiful again all season long. The three things when taking care of your petunias. Number one, you're going to fertilize every two weeks. Number two, you're going to trim and maintain that beautiful basket that you have. And number three, you are going to water, to water consistently. Consistently is the word for anything in life, but for plants, that is the word that we are going to use because you need to be consistent with your watering. So consider this your encouragement to take care of your beautiful petunias all season long by maintaining watering and feeding. Petunias come in a variety of so many different colors, which is so fun to see as we go walk through all the different petunias from red, yellow, blue, purple, 
all white, all different colors. There's so many different colors and you can mix your combinations with, with sweet potato vine, grasses, all sorts of different annuals to have a variety of color all season long at your home. Do you grow petunias? I would love to see your pictures of your petunias. Where it, if it's in your landscape or if it's in baskets, feel free to share your videos by shooting me a message or commenting on the video with a picture if you can do that or sending us a picture somehow. And I would love to share that with others to inspire them so that they can also grow petunias too. So petunias are so beautiful and they are something that is so striking as a color combination in your home. So that's all I have. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.